Uh, Heather, I am. Sam, I think we all failed Nina Turner. To be honest, how many times have you featured her or interviewed her, or talked about her policies? Maybe one or two videos at, mo uh, at most in the last two months compared to, I don't know how many hours of talking about Republicans. Why not educate your viewers more and more about their candidates and their choices, policies, and how policies of her opponents are bad. Deep breakdowns, not touch and go features. I would put the number of people who voted for uh, Brown in that race who watched this show, maybe, maybe, maybe in the double figures. Maybe we have, I, I, it, 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 I'd be surprised if we have one, to be honest, one person. This, it, this, I mean, this race was not won or lost about policies. Nope. And, and broadly speaking, we try and educate Democrats, maybe some, you know, uh, maybe some conservatives, maybe some Republicans, maybe some, you know, pr progressives about what, you know, policies uh, should be adopted. But this race was not about that. This is, you know, this is the thing, you know, uh, and Michael liked to say this quite a bit, you know, it's about winning. <laughs> it's about winning. And the, the idea that you may have to change some aesthetics to appeal to people to sell them this. I mean, this is, you know, this is a job of a politician. This also, I'm pretty sure job. her ads were on like a lot of our videos for fundraising. And we also had her on the show. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I think like, but but even if we had done nothing, the point is, is that that's not, it wouldn't have made a difference. The yeah. difference has to be that a activists need to give space to politicians who are pursuing the same issue goals has to give them space to appeal to those people who are voting on a different set of criteria. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, like that's the bottom line. Like, you know, the idea, I mean, this is, like activists don't need to lose their shit if she comes out with an ad like the one that she did in too late with Obama with photos with Obama seeing the larger goal and the tactics of winning to get her into power. And, and like I would argue a lot of those people are not actually activists or They're okay, just people who fine, are purists. Yes, they yes. need to eat their own bowl of shit and say, no, this is the path to win. Exactly. If you I mean, this is the problem is that, you know, and, and this is why, and, and he's just an obvious example, right? You know, uh, and I think by the, by, by this point, like, you know, uh, uh, Jimmy Dore was, uh, was, was probably off the Nina Turner train because of the aesthetic. No, they were saying don't donate to her anymore on her right. show. So. Because they were upset about the aesthetics, right? <laughs> and this is the, the, I mean, this is the problem. You know, if people are so concerned about identity politics because it's not dealing with the material impact on people. If you're concerned about the material impact on people, the idea that Nina Turner would even like, you know, let's say she uh, had to, if she had to campaign with a cutout of Joe Biden that she was hugging every day, far more valuable to me for her to win doing that and having her vote on all these things. I mean, it's just like, this is it's like, like, like little kitty stuff, honestly. It is like childish. It is like a, uh, you know, a, a seven-year-old boy saying like, I don't want to wear pink because that's a girl color. So it's, it's honestly, it's like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, it's that, that it's that superficial and arrested and just and, and wrong. The point of politics is to get stuff done and deliver for people. And the point of progressive or leftist electoral politics, I, I, if there are people who would just say like, I'm not interested in the electoral process because I'm waiting for a, a bigger revolution and awareness, different conversation. But if you're gonna get involved in electoral politics, the idea is win so that you can get power to provide material benefits for people. And, um, I don't I don't know if Nina Turner felt inhibited 
to um, go, you know, to hug Obama, uh, you know, in, uh, you know, six months out. She may have felt like that would have hurt her um, fundraising. But that's a problem if she did. I don't know that's the case, but we need to be able to give candidates some space. Now, I understand like, well, sometimes it's hard. And to you assess. could have had a national strategy where you're focusing on your progressive bona fides and standing alongside AOC and standing alongside Bernie Sanders for your YouTube ads that encourage fundraising. And then on the local level on TV ads, just hammer what you did as a state senator, which I think, do think she tried to do um, and how she worked with Obama, et cetera. I mean, it, it, We'll never it, know, right? It's are performative. And, and and I understand that, like, you know, sometimes this is the way you get an assessment uh, as to, you know, who this person is. But, 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 you know, if you didn't have faith in Nina Turner uh, yeah. before this, then I got news for you. You should not be really engaging in um, in politics. Sometimes you're going to get burnt. But I mean, if you didn't, then, you know, it was quite clear how she was going to vote and and what kind of voice she would have been in the House again. She could run uh, in, in next November or a year from November. Maybe she wins. But the point is, is that like um, it is hard to win in the Democratic Party. And, you know, just going through um, uh, and, and not not somebody who uh, I'm, you know, for for other reasons that I'm uh, necessarily too excited about uh, in any way um, uh, platforming. But uh, uh, Jordan Sheridan was on the ground. Um, and had some uh, had a thread that I think was, you know, um, a, a very sort of sober minded uh, assessment of the situation. Um, had she run, if she had she not run in the Democratic Party, but had she run in uh, the Green Party, she would have lost by 50 points, not not five. Um, and. His assessment, very similar to, you know, some of the things that Weigel said, some of the, the things that um that McElwee said, I mean, the bottom line is you got to meet people where they are. And that doesn't mean that you need to change your policies. Sadly, people aren't necessarily always voting on the, the, the policies you want. I mean, you know, part of this has to be like the job of, of politics is not to enlighten everyone and have them sort of like in lockstep with your perspective on this thing. It's not punditry. The job. What's that? Not punditry. Yeah, exactly. The, 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 it is to deliver material benefits. Sometimes that happens like, uh, but with, with Cori Bush, using the fact that she's a congresswoman and sleeping on the Capitol steps, because Cori Bush, non-congresswoman sleeping on the Capitol steps does nothing. Cori Bush, congresswoman sleeping on the Capitol steps does something. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really, thank you.